changes. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome in to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday, the 13th of November, 2019. And a lot of posts again, I get these video ideas from Facebook, from my group, from those of you that ask questions all the time. And some of you were discussing how long it should take to list items. Uh, two answers, one is it depends on the item. And two, it depends on the process. And so I wanna show you kind of a quick way to do a process on anything that doesn't require a mannequin, um, hard goods, Small items, even shoes, will work for what I'm about to show you. I'm gonna give you a few examples like ties, um, TV remotes, this is just like an Apple Watch uh, case band set. Anything small like this, it could be a video game, a DVD, it could be a little knickknack. Uh, I'll also show you how to uh, list this pair of jeans and how quickly you should be listing items like this that don't require you to take measurements um, for the hard good items. These do need measurements on ties, but things like this that don't require measurements, things that do require measurements like jeans, shorts, jean shorts, or things that don't require a mannequin. Now, if you're doing a mannequin with like shirts, pulling them on and off, dresses, whatnot, obviously that's gonna take you a couple extra minutes. So you can just add that amount of time to what I'm gonna show you here. But this is a really quick, easy setup. Anybody can do this, and uh, all you really need is a light kit is what I recommend, which, let me grab my camera here for you guys. Uh, I have one of my light kits there. I have one of my light kits there. So the rest of this video, as I flip the camera around and point down at my picture station, um, I'm gonna adjust these lights to point at that, and so I'll show you that little setup, because a lot of people always ask how quickly you can do this. Now, I'm doing this at my table. This isn't where I would normally do it. I'm only doing this for the purpose of the video. So for you, you'll need to find some place to set up your background paper, uh, background board, your light kit, whatever it is that you're gonna do, you can move it around, set it up and leave it, depending on your house, apartment, setup, whatever you have, you know your arrangement, uh, I don't. So this is just for the purposes of this video and uh, it'll give you a good idea what you can do at your place. Let's do it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and started with this little Apple watch. You can see it's about as big as my hand, a little bit bigger than a small remote. And I've just got it on a piece of white uh, background board. This is like just normal poster board. Um, you can also use the white photo paper, um, which I'll have linked down below off eBay or Amazon or whatever. I got mine at Office Depot, I think. It's 10, 11 bucks. You can buy these things for a dollar or two. Uh, it's really all you need for these small hard goods. And then basically just kind of have the light pointed over it. You want the light to wash over it. You don't want to be like on top of it. That's kind of how you get those bad shadows. But if you look, if I was to take this picture, ignore the board because I grabbed a dirty one. We have a bunch of them. But um, you can see, and I have the other light kind of at a distance because it's over there for something. But if I had moved that other light here, it would have a little bit better. You see how the shadow kind of on the left there because of that light. So kind of point it, you know, don't, not right at it, but kind of over it. And you can play with the angles to get the best. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to sell an item just like this with a white background, right? So there you go. You could just take the photo just like this. You just take your phone out and go click. And then you should be able to flip it over and go click. And then you could take one, you know, from the side if you wanted to, or you could take a really close up one or a far back one or whatever it is that you would want to do. This kind of item is literally a 30 second photo. If I was going to do like a remote, again, you could do like a 30 second remote front and back. Um, you could take uh, this piece off and show that it has a good, um, you know, corrosion free thing. It, it all depends on the item that you're actually listing, but this is how quickly, and you just pretend this is your phone, just click, you know, click, take it off, click, side, whatever, get yourself four pictures, take an angled one, like maybe like that, take one up close on the button so they can see, four or five pictures, all set, ready to go. Much, much faster. Now, even on something like a necktie, again, pretend this is our phone, you know, we could take the photos, again, take a picture of the tie, you could unfold it, um, you know, get one up close of the tag, get one up close of the material. Um, and then, you know, you wanna have a picture where it's just the tie and you can kind of see it. You can do the Jamie Pace roll tie one, you know, roll it up and show that. If you've never seen that, uh, I just kind of did a bad example of that, but um, that's one. And then of course you'll wanna have one, I don't have it with me, but your tape measure crossed, you know, one picture showing the measurement across the width and one measurement, you know, showing the length of it if you wanted. 
I definitely want to put those in the description as well as the picture because some people don't scroll through pictures and some people don't read descriptions. So if you have it in both places, they have no reason to complain. Um, but you do want one picture without the measuring tape just showing the tie you know, all by itself. So another item there that you could list, okay? So that would be just a couple of those quick items. Now let me show you the jeans because obviously they're not going to really fit on this white piece of paper that's like two foot by two foot or whatever it is. Now you could certainly take a picture like this, let me get rid of the rest of this stuff. You know, kind of like this, pretend this is your, again, your phone, click, click, click. Um, you could flip them over, but you're gonna wanna stretch these kind of pants out. Um, if they're jean shorts or something, maybe you can make it work. So you'll, you'll need two of these, or like I said, a roll of the photo paper with somewhere that you could roll it out so that you could actually stretch these jeans out like this, and then, you know, take photos, click, 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 and then, Take photos again. These ones got brand new tags on them. Um, these jeans are $125 jeans. These might end up in a wholesale lot. They're pretty cool. Um, it's got like some kind of burn on it. But then you'll take pictures. And then obviously with jeans, you're going to have to do the measurements. We do like three. We do across the waist. We do like the inseam. Sometimes I'll do like the leg opening. But you would have to have a bigger area. I did this just for the point of this video. But, um, you know, these are going to take longer. So photographing things like a TV remote... Uh, you know, a watch case or a, a video game or a tie. This should be something that takes you no more than 60 seconds. Start to finish, set them up, take the pictures. I mean, 60 seconds is probably long for that, right? Um, so you should be able to photograph. And if you pull out 10 remotes or even 10 different items, look, I've got one, two, three, four items, a pair of jeans. There's no way you can't sit down and do 10 items at a minute each for these, you know, two minutes, two minutes. I mean, if this takes you more than 15 or 20 minutes to sit here and photograph 10 items, probably taking you too long. You've got to move, you've got to take pictures and they don't have to be perfect. You can always play with the brightness of the white inside of the eBay app or hopefully once that beta testing is done for the iPhones and then eventually Android where they make it all white. Um, you know, this is the kind of thing that you have to get better at to be faster. Okay, so 15, 20 minutes, 10 items. And while you're doing that, you're gonna be grabbing these measurements on any items. If you're doing 10 pair of jeans, yeah, give yourself 30 minutes, 35 minutes, because you're gonna measure all of them, but you're gonna have all your photos done and you're gonna have your measurements. Now, a lot of people always ask um, about the photos and the quickest way to upload and to do all of that sort of thing. And so for me, if you're gonna do photos, um, I use an Apple iPhone. I, you know, people are like, oh, Apple, I hate Apple, I hate Android, it's personal preference, it is. But here's the great thing about Apple, and I know Android has something like this too, and you can always use Dropbox, but Apple has iCloud and they have, um, you know, like AirDrop, where you can just click a button, open your photo albums after you take all your, you know, let's say eight pictures per 10 items, 80 pictures, you can just select all and then hit transfer to computer if you're using a MacBook. And so this is why I use an iPhone and a MacBook, Apple, Apple. And literally those pictures appear on my computer in seconds. Now, if you're listing straight from your phone or your iPad, uh, probably doesn't matter, you're just gonna list right from there. But if you do like to work on the computer instead, you can just take all these photos, which is what I would do, batch them all up, and then just hit the button and send them all into my computer. Now, again, if you're on Android, personal preference, you wanna use Dropbox or Google Images or whatever they use, I, I have no idea. But um, if that's an option where you can just click a button and send all those photos to automatically send to your computer, bam, seconds, you're done. I've got all the pictures in a folder on my computer and then I can start making my drafts and everything uh, works really smoothly. And so that's how quickly it should go. Uh, and you, you know, you have the measurements in the pictures or while you're taking the pictures and you're doing the measurements, take a little notepad, either your phone or, or a little scribble pad next to you and just scribble everything down so that you have all those, me those measurements. Um, and so that's how quickly it should go. And then you should be able to just, you know, knock out your title, knock out your descriptions with those measurements, the item specifics, everything that you have to fill out um, you know, on 10 items, really two to three minutes per description, you're talking about another 20 to 30 minutes. And so that's where I come up with that thing. If you've ever seen me talk about it in the Facebook group where I say that it should take you no more than an hour to do eight to 10 items. I mean, 10 in an hour is six minutes an item. If you're doing a minute, two minutes, three minutes for the, descri uh, for the photos and a minute, two, three minutes for the description, that gives you really two minutes on photos, which we just talked about should be enough even on some jeans. And that gives you four minutes on a description and then you've got uploading. Sometimes there's some research 
Um, so that's why I say eight to 10 items, but really that's a goal. If you're doing at least five or six, that's acceptable and that's great. Um, work your way up to seven, eight, nine items. Uh, if they're all jeans, all clothing, if you're dressing mannequins, then of course, yeah, you might be at like six or seven an hour because that's 10 minutes an item. So uh, just an idea, just kind of speed things up. Just get yourself, you know, I'm sitting at a very, very basic table right here and I could sit here and do all these types, smaller items in that amount of time without, you know, really giving it too much um, of an effort. But uh, if you have a dedicated spot, that would be great too. So hopefully everyone that was asking that question about how long it should take to list items and how you would do a setup and kind of my photo setup. Again, this was kind of a, of a thrown together video um, set up for you guys, but the video is accurate as far as how we would actually do it. So any questions, put it down below. Uh, you can feel free to comment how long it takes you to list stuff, what type of stuff you list, all those sort of things in the description box down below. Also, um, before I let you guys go, the two things, the wholesale list Friday will be an entire new set of lots. We're going to have like seven or eight lots that are available. Jeans, clothing, jewelry, electronics, all kinds of stuff will be on that list. So make sure you use the link and get it. And also, um, I put together some of my best training videos from each section, eBay, Amazon, Posh, Instagram, Facebook, some of the most liked and the most used training videos. It's not my entire 125 setup or whatever, um, but I wanted to give everyone a chance to check out just the most liked ones. So I put a little group of those together with a couple of guides, kind of call it a sample, but um, it'll really help you. It'll really help you uh, make some money and change up the way that you do some of these platforms and learn some of them. So if you wanna grab that, um, nine bucks, it's below, uh, check it out. And then if you like them, go ahead and upgrade and get the entire package, which will be in the second link below and you'll be able to get a credit with that. So appreciate it. Thank you guys so much and uh, enjoy this video. Enjoy learning how to list faster and making more money. And until next time, until tomorrow, which is the live show at 9 p.m., I'll see you guys then.